I hope you all are having a fabulous day. This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back to the good, the bad, the awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture. So if you like to see what I see, hit that like, subscribe, get notified when we have new videos. And if you're already doing that, thank you so very much. So today we are going to the DC Multiverse. We haven't gone to the DC Multiverse in a while but we're gonna go to one of I believe is a pinnacle one of the great Batman stories of all time and we're gonna go to a figure that I just got from that and no it's not Batman hush it's not the long Halloween it's not death in the family it's not death of the family it's not court of owls it's not any of those it's not even Noel it is the Dark Knight Returns and so we got the collector's edition the Frank Miller Matt uh, one of the best in writing Batman also one of the worst in writing Batman but we got this figure I've been waiting for this one I can't wait to open it up and show you all so let's just get to it get him out of the box and tell you if he is worth the price of admission or should you just hang on to the other dark knight returns one that came out long ago let's do it Okay, folks, here he is, the Dark Knight Returns Batman from the McFarlane Collector Edition. Uh, if you don't know much about the Dark Knight Returns, it is a story written by Frank Miller, where it goes into a life of an old aging Bruce Wayne who had hung up the mantle of Batman. This is like elsewhere because of uh, the death of Jason Todd. Uh, and then he finally kind of picks up that mantle again, uh, ends up fighting Superman, who's a pawn of the government. Uh, fights Two-Face and a Joker and, and ends up, there, there's a lot of things that happen. I won't spoil it for you. It's been out for a while, so I, I, sh I should be able to spoil it for you, but it's been out for a bit. But there, McFarlane has released a um, Dark Knight uh, returns Batman figure. It was the build a figure uh, that happened. It was more of a black and white, and it was a good figure. I, I didn't get it myself. I, I do still want to get it because I do want that horse. Uh, but uh, I when I saw this one, I was like, I really want it because it looks like it comes with some really cool stuff. The packaging looks great. Uh, and so um, I can't wait to do it. Now, you know, McFarlane and Batman. I mean, he's he's got more Batmans than I I don't know what. But uh, like I, my favorite superhero is Superman. You can't do Superman really right. I'm looking forward to the Christopher Reeve Superman. So I hope that does really well. But but there is a lot of Batman here. There's yeah, there is a lot of Batman. Uh, so but here it is. Here is the front of the box, the side of the box, the back love, the gritty artwork right there, kind of the inspiration uh, for this figure. And then the side of the box, this is the battle damaged blue Batman. Got it from GameStop. You can kind of see the price tag right there. If you're a pro member, that's what you can get it for. Uh, but uh, let's get this baby out of the box and let's begin to play with it a little bit. On to my operating table, here he is, Batman. It took me a little bit to get this guy out of the box. Man, I'll tell you what, McFarlane packaging is just ah, so fun to open uh, while trying to preserve it. I couldn't really preserve it that much, but anyway, got him out. I probably need to get better tools, but uh, here is everything you get in the package. First of all, you do get the obligatory DC McFarlane action figure stand. Uh, you also get the McFarlane collector's card, which is really, really cool. Um, the interesting thing is, is this collector's edition doesn't come with the collector card stand uh, like most of the other collector's editions do. Uh, you also get his bat orang and rope right here. You get uh, four hands, sorry about that, Bruce. Uh, oh, wait, y'all aren't supposed to know he's Bruce, right? No, four hands and there we go. You get the cowled face, which I think looks freaking amazing. I don't know about y'all. Let me see if I can bring some more illumination in. But I think this looks great. Love the paint 
job on here. I think they did a really good job. I always did, was a fan of the uh, Miller looking uh, Batman. I thought it looked really cool. It was a nice, good, different take. And then of course you get Bruce himself, but you also get this lamp post here instead of that card holder, which is kind of cool. And the main reason why this is cool, um, the, the cool thing, and I'm gonna put it together here. It looks like it just slides together. Hopefully it slides together. There we go. Uh, the main thing what's cool about this is um, it's the artwork. I don't know if you remember the, the scene where uh, Bruce uh, is standing under this lamp and Superman is up in the sky. Uh, I'll try to put a picture of it if I can find it, but it's it's uh, you can reenact that scene if you have the uh, Dark Knight Returns Superman on there. Uh, but let's bring Bruce in for a closer look at him. Uh, let me go ahead and pop him in, pop this up. And there we are. Let's see here. Bruce. Don't let me down, Bruce. So there we are. There's that the ugly, mean looking face of Bruce Wayne. I thought they, they did a really good job on this mold. Where McFarlane has issues with is when they're trying to do like realistic faces. But a lot of times with the comic book faces, I think they do a pretty decent job on this. And this one they did a really, really good job at capturing the likeness of um of Bruce Wayne, as well as the Batman. Uh, love the battle damage suit here. I think they did a really good job with that paint job. If you take a look here, uh, the yellow on the belt pops. This is like classic gray, blue, yellow Batman outfit. Uh, he has the bat claw, you know, the batarangs right here in his hands. Uh, would be cool if those could have been painted black, but that's okay. Uh, but we also have this. Uh, now I do want the platinum edition with this figure because it doesn't have the battle damage, but the suit looks really, really cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, just looks, looks really good. So there he is from the front, from the side, from the back. And we got a plastic cape, not a soft goods cape. I know McFarlane's been starting to include soft goods capes, but they gave us a plastic one here. Uh, let's see, does he, yep, he still works out, folks. There's that gluteus maximus right there. Uh, and McFarlane figures, if you don't know, they have 22 points of articulation. So we do have the head that does bob and nod uh, right there. You also have this arm pops up. It does kind of uh, wiggle around and it does kind of move forward and back right there too as well. Uh, you do have elbow bend. You do have a wrist bend too as well and a wrist circle. You have the upper ab that can turn. You also have the lower ab crunch that turns as well. Uh, leg, uh, this is the first time I have seen in a McFarlane figure, we have thigh rotation. That's interesting. I haven't, I could be wrong, but most of my McFarlane figures do not have thigh rotation. I know at first he never wanted, I, the rumor I heard was that it, it wasn't natural for a human to move like that. And so that's why he never put it in there. But we've got thigh rotation folks. Uh, and then it, kicking up, you know, his underwear gets kind of in the way, uh, kicking back underwear kind of gets in the way, but you do have a double knee bend right there. Uh, you also have uh, the ankle and then the tilt right there too as well. So that is your articulation folks for Superman. I mean, not Superman, Batman. And so if we want to, let's pop this head off. And so you just kind of twist and pull and let's put on this head because this is probably the head I want to keep it in. And you gotta kinda push it on. Now, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. I like it. I really, really like this. I It feels good in the hands. I. This is just really, really good. And for $29.99, you get a lot of accessories. A lot of times, like with Marvel Legends, you pay 25 bucks and you get like a couple extra hands and that. But McFarlane, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Some some figures are hit and miss, but right lately, McFarlane, you've been releasing some bangers. Man, that Batman Reborn figure, the Red Hood figure, uh, gosh, the... Um, the, the collector's edition Red Hood figure. Uh, and then of course the new BVS stuff coming out in the Christopher Reeve Superman I can't wait for. But yeah, you can kind of, if you want to, kind of have him underneath the lamp, the lamp of Gotham. There we go. Kind of get that in my frame if I can. Uh, I'll push that back just a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's just, you know, you kind of run out of room and you kind of get stuff out of frame and you kind of ruin the magic of uh, Batman under the lamp. <laughs> I don't know if there's any magic to it, uh, but 
Let's do this. Let's uh, move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's compare him to some other figures. And I've got several Batmen we will compare him to. So let's move the lamp out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this down and pop it forward a little bit and let's bring in some Batman. And so this is my favorite Batman so far that I have. I don't know now with the Dark Knight Returns one. Uh, this, this right here, let me kind of get him standing up a little bit straighter. I can. McFarlane figures sometimes have a love-hate relationship with me on standing. Uh, so and that's why you have to sometimes use those those uh, little discs. Uh, but there is my Nightfall Batman. I think that's one of my favorites. Here is the Keaton 89 Batman. Right there. And then, of course, the Batman versus Superman uh, Batfleck. Uh, I don't know if I can get him in frame. There we go. We'll put him over here. And we'll kind of just scoot this back just a hair so y'all can kind of see. There we are. Kind of in frame, right? Uh, so there they are, all those Batman. And then we have a five inch uh, McFarlane Superpowers Batman Who Laughs. Uh, so you can kind of see from a height standpoint there. Uh, so that is kind of all the McFarlane Batmans there. Now, if you've never seen McFarlane with any other type of figures, here is the three point, here's a 3.75 inch Star Wars. Uh, and let's see, do I have a six inch? Uh, well, I have a six inch black figure. I don't have a Marvel Legends figure near me. Uh, here's a six inch black figure right there uh this is an anime heroes chainsaw man so let's bring him in why not right why not there we are and uh oh for poops and giggles let's bring in studio series optimus prime if i can let's get a bunch of people in the frame now there we are and so there you go. It's a motley crew of people uh, with all my Batman and uh, Optimus and all these guys. So really uh, digging. So I would now have to rank the Batman if I was to rank my, these are my favorite Batman that I have. And if I was to rank them, um, I would have to go first place still as the Nightfall. Just definitely love that suit. I'm going to have to give second place right now to, to Dark Knight Returns here. Um, and then, of course, third place is going to be this guy. Fourth place is going to be that. Now, I know a lot of y'all have Mezco and May Mayfex figures. I don't have any of those. Uh, I, I, here's the deal. If I start getting into those, I'm really going to go broke. But you know what? It doesn't mean I'm never going to get into those. I just got to find the right ones. And so maybe it's the Dark Knight Returns or something like that. But uh, uh, but. As of right now, these are the only figures I got. But let's go back to Jimmy in the chair and tell you my final thoughts on this while I kind of film some rotating rotating uh, product shots, so to speak. Thank you, Jimmy, over in the Review Center. And we are back for my final thoughts on Batman The Dark Knight Returns. And so let me bring him in really. So first of all, I love this figure. I think this is my second favorite Batman that I have. Uh, hands down, McFarlane hit it out of the ballpark with this guy. Uh, I was surprised to see the thigh rotation uh, positive right there. Um, I was uh, love the face sculpt, love the paint, love the battle damage on this guy. I think it is really, really great. And it comes with the freaking street light right there. So you can have the, uh, the ye old, uh, battle with Superman, you know, uh, but really, really, really cool. I hope they re-release like a Robin or a Joker or the Superman, the Superman mold that they had for the dark Knight returns just looked weird. So, I mean, it looked like him, but yeah, it was just, yeah, you know, I may have to get that build a figure because I want that horse for him to ride. Uh, my only cons on this, mine has a little bit of stress on his hand right over here uh, on the ball joint on the hand. So it has a little bit of stress mark on there. Uh, and then it doesn't come with the card holder like all the other collector uh, edition McFarlane does. So you can't kind of display it with the card, uh, but you get the lamp. And if it was my choice between the lamp and the card holder, I would definitely take the uh, street light uh, on that. But on a scale of good, bad, awesome, 
This one right here is freaking awesome. This is this right now will be one of my favorite figures uh, besides the Nightfall Batman. And I can't wait to open up my Nightfall Batman Bane 2 pack. I haven't done that yet, so I can't wait to do that. But but this guy, if you see him at your stores or whatever, and you are a Batman collector or a McFarlane collector, definitely pick this one up. And if you see the Platinum Edition, that one's sexier. And I can't and I'm looking. I am hunting for that Platinum Edition Batman Dark Knight Return. So uh, if any of y'all see it and you're so inclined to get it and send it to me you definitely can so but uh that is that on him just that face i'm batman um really great story if you've never read the dark knight returns by frank miller frank miller is one of the one of the great batman writers and like i said his later batman stuff was not not that good but uh really really good stuff there so i love this figure just plain and simple. Love it, love it, love it. That's all I can say about it. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, maybe consider becoming a member, a subscriber, or giving a super thanks. I will not pressure you to do whatever you don't want to do. But in the meantime, y'all tune in next time when we talk about something else good, bad, or awesome. And just y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. And if you can't be awesome, be Batman. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.